The 5G Vinny project built an end-to-end -end 5G facility to demonstrate the value of 5G solutions and validate 5G KPIs. Through 5G Vinny, vertical industries have been able to execute end-to-end -end trials and experiment applications and use cases enabled by 5G. Altus Labs hosts one of eight 5G Vinny facility sites in Aveiro, Portugal. Altus Labs 5G facility site follows the architectural framework and principles defined by 5G Vinny. Several technological building blocks have been integrated into the facility site, mostly based on open source software components. Altus Labs facility site is aligned with 5G 3GPP standards and other relevant standardization groups, such as Open RAN and Etsy MEC. We can identify four main domains the 5G radio access network, the edge network, the 5G core, and management and orchestration. An overview of these components is presented next. The radio access component of the facility site is based on Azox Cyrus 2.0. Azox provides a fully virtualized RAN solution delivering standalone 5G cellular connectivity. It is fully virtualized across all layers and follows the Open RAN architecture, an open standard that decomposes the 3GPP G node B into three separate components, the RU, radio unit, the DU, distributed unit, and the CU, centralized unit. The CU and DU can be deployed in different locations or co-located. The radio unit converts radio signals into a digital stream for transmission over packet networks. The different components of the radio access network can be managed and monitored to guarantee optimal performance. The 5G core of the facility site is based on Fraunhofer Focus's Open 5G Core. Open 5G Core components can be deployed as containers or virtual machines, including all the fundamental 3GPP 5G Core network functions. Open 5G Core follows the service-based architecture in which self-contained, independent, and reusable network functions expose their functionality through a well-defined REST interface. Open 5G Core command line interface enables configuration and monitoring of all 5G core components. The management and orchestration component coordinates network resources and the lifecycle management of virtual network functions and network services. It is crucial to ensure quick, reliable deployment of network services and to enable the dynamic adaptation of the virtualized infrastructure to events and conditions. In the 5G Vinny facility site, this role is played by the open source platform Sonata. Sonata provides a management and orchestration framework to efficiently orchestrate network resources, either virtualized or containerized. It can manage the full lifecycle of network functions and network services, as well as network slices, a fundamental ingredient of 5G with a strong impact in many aspects of network management and orchestration. Sonata natively supports multiple virtualized infrastructure management technologies, such as OpenStack and Kubernetes, through a common API. Edge computing is a crucial enabler of relevant 5G KPIs especially low latency and optimal consumption of network resources. In the 5G Vinny facility site, the Intel OpenNest software toolkit offers an environment to create and deploy applications at the network edge. OpenNest can dynamically define traffic steering rules on the user plane function nodes through an application function interface, thus providing enhanced flexibility for the automated deployment of applications on edge nodes. In the context of Altus Labs 5G Vinny Edge Computing Experimental Activities, dynamic 5G traffic steering commanded by Intel Openness was demonstrated through a video analytics use case. Deployment of video analytics applications at the edge provides significant benefits, namely low latency and optimized use of network resources. However, under certain circumstances, for example, insufficient resources, technical failure, or maintenance operations, to guarantee service continuity, temporary deployment of these applications in the core may be required. This demo shows the dynamic relocation of a video analytics application between edge and core nodes and the automated control of traffic steering performed by Intel OpenNest. 
The Video Analytics application is a typical surveillance application that counts the number of people, vehicles, and bikes passing through a specific place. Two instances of the application are deployed at the edge and core nodes. The graphical interface shows where the video camera and the edge nodes are deployed at Altus Labs premises. We can see the video received in real time with the identification of vehicles and persons. By default, the application is hosted at the edge node, which is physically close to the camera, but can also be relocated to the core if and when needed. The logs produced by UPF1 and UPF2 show that initially UPF1, located at the edge, has active sessions, but not UPF2, located in the core. Through the openness controller, the 5G core traffic steering rules can be redefined. We can see that after the appropriate openness controller command has been executed, the core UPF now has active sessions, but not the edge UPF. The application user interface shows that the application instance located in the core is now receiving video traffic from the surveillance camera and detecting and counting persons and vehicles as expected. The 5G Vini facility site has supported two technological pilots developed in the framework of the H2020 ICT19 5 Growth Project in collaboration with EFASEC in the areas of transportation and energy. The main objective of the transportation pilot is to demonstrate and validate a 5G architecture to handle railway signaling operations in level crossings, requiring high throughput, reliable and secure communications. The technical solution proposed by this pilot aims to improve safety and reduce costs, both CAPEX and OPEX. Two use cases are demonstrated addressing safety-critical and non-safety-critical communications. The second pilot is focused on Energy Smart Grid. It addresses the advanced monitoring and maintenance support of low-voltage smart grid infrastructure, especially secondary substations including monitoring high-definition video streaming from local cameras to maintenance crews' mobile devices. The technical solution proposed by this pilot aims to improve the reliability of electric power utilities and enable a planned and timely maintenance response to outage events. This pilot also includes two use cases, advanced monitoring and maintenance support for secondary medium voltage, low voltage distribution substation, and advanced critical signal and data exchange across wide smart metering and measurement infrastructures. Both pilots are still ongoing and should be completed during 2022 first quarter. Altus Lab's 5G Vini facility site will remain operational beyond the lifetime of the 5G Vini project to support national and international resource and development activities that need a 5G experimental testbed. The infrastructure will be evolved and extended to incorporate new 5G features. For more information, please get in touch with us via portugal-facility at 5g-vini.eu.